Hi, YouTube family. This is Maddie Meg. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to make a monthly view of your planner. Um, just a little background. I personally find that planners have become very expensive. And so it is my quest to see if I made my own, if it would be any difference, if I would save any money. Um, because when you make your own, at least you can personalize it to exactly what you want to see in your um, planner instead of, you know, um, what everybody else wanted to see when they created their planner. OK, so with that said, uh, some of these documents I have been creating all week um, and then I'm just coming back to create a video to show you how to make these um, documents. Everything that I am making, I'm trying to stay in Word. I am not well versed in things like Canva and Illustrator and all that stuff. Not to say one day I won't learn, but um, for purposes of time, I'm going to stick with what I know. And I do know Word um, pretty good. So I'm doing all of these, these things in Word, OK? And Word is a little bit more accessible, I think, for most people. So with that said, we'll get started. Um, again, we're making the monthly view for our 2021 uh, planner. OK, uh, we're going to click on file. We already have Word up, so we just need to get a blank sheet. And then from there, I'm going to I'm just going to um, widen it a little bit. Yeah, I just want to move it over here so that I can take a so we can have it side by side so you can see it. OK, OK. With that said, let me do it one more time. OK. With that said, let me see if I can get it to move. Nothing ever works when you want it to work, right? Let me go back up one more time. Let me resize. It just wants to resize all on its own, but I don't want it to resize all on its own. I want it to do what I want it to do. There we go. Okay. Never works when you're doing a movie. Something always fails. Sorry, you guys. All right. Take that up there. Now she's working like I want her to. It happens. It happens. Right? It happens to us all. Sometimes technology has a mind of its own. But we got it straightened out. Okay? With that said, let's get started. The first thing that you would want to do is, you guys, you need to change your margins for this. Okay? Otherwise, things won't happen the way you want them to happen. Okay? So that's going to be in our layout. And we're going to go to margins. And I'm going to go to custom margins. I'm going to make my top margins 0.5. You can type this in too. Maybe I'll just type it in, make it easier so we don't have to do all that. And my bottom margin is going to be 0.5. My left and right margin are going to be 0.75. I don't want them quite an inch, okay? We need a little space. And we're going to click OK. All right. So we have our margin set. And now I picked two different fonts for this activity, for this planner. Uh, the, Today, I'm going to use one font. This particular font is called um, Giafani. Uh, I got it from uh, freefonts.com, and that's what I'm using for the lettering here. But the number is Alex Brush, okay? And the reason I didn't use the numbers from um, G Giafani is because I just didn't like them. They didn't look very pleasant to me. So I'm using a different font for my numbers. OK. Uh, and again, it's called Alex Brush. <clears throat> we're going to come over here. We need to see. I'm sorry. We're going to go back over here. We're going to look at the size of our. We got our home tab because we need to see the font size or you can right click on it. But um, right here, it tells us that this is Giafani and it's 48 inches. And then we come over here. It tells us it's Alex Brush and it's 48 inches. OK, so we want the same thing over here. Right. We're going to go to our home tab and we're going to go to Giafani. And we're going to click 48. And we're going to type. We don't need to do uh, February because we already have it done. We'll just do um, March. We have to change that font. It defaulted back to my Cal Cal Calibri or Calibri, whatever folks want to call it. We want to change it to the um, Alex Brush. And then we're going to go up. We're just going to hit enter and we're going to hit shift and we're going to make our line. And when we get to the end, we're going to hit enter again 
and it gives us that underline there, okay? You don't have to do that. Design this how you want to. I'm just trying to help you out and give you some ideas, but you can design this any way you want to. You don't have to have a line. I'm just gonna have a line, all right? And so then we need to look at how many columns we need. We need one, two, three, four columns, and we need one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, um, six rows, okay? With that said, we're going to go to insert, we're going to go to table, and we have our four columns, and then we're going to go down six. And if you look right above, um, underneath the word, uh, underneath the tab table, you'll see it's telling you that it's four by six table. That's what it is. That's what we want. Okay. So we have that done. All right. Now, the first thing we need to do is our headers. We need the days of the week, right? So here we have Monday. Uh-oh, it's not in our lovely font. We go back to the Home tab, and we're going to click on, remember I said um, uh, Giafani? That's what we're using. And I believe my I put this on 24, so we're going to go with, we're really going to go with 26, okay? And we're going to go Monday tab. Let's just try this. Let's get these boxes straight from the beginning. We want them all to be Giafani, the words. So there we go. Mo Monday, and we want them all to be 26. Let me get that right. Okay. All right. So Monday, and then we're going to go Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay? And I did an enter because it looked like they couldn't breathe to me, so I wanted a little bit of space. If I was the word, I'd want a little space, okay? That's just what I did. Okay. Now, with that said, it still looks like to me these fonts are a little bit tiny, so I'm going to even go up a little bigger, maybe to 36, okay? Again, you do what you, you do what you want to do. I have bad eyesight, and so I tend to want things to be a little bit bigger. But I may have made it a little bit too big, so we're going to go back and change that one down so that it won't be so um, the boxes won't be so wide. I'm going to 28. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I do want to tell you this, and I don't know how that happened. I don't want italics. See how it went on a slant, you guys? It's good, good troubleshooting here. I did that accidentally. I don't want to slant. I want them straight up. But I do want to show you that you can move these, uh, you can align them in different ways. If you go up here, mine are all aligned to the left. But if you want it to be centered, you can do that. If you want it to be right, you can do that. Okay. It's up to you. That's your preference. Just do it how you want to do it. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is highlight all these, or I'm sorry, we're not going to highlight. What we're going to do is uh, see how I'm in this corner over here. We want to make this. The, the, these boxes all bigger, okay? So we're going to go like this, <clears throat> and we're going to pull our box down. Not too far. We're not, we don't need a whole nother page, but there we go, okay? We've pulled our box down. Looks kind of like that over here, right? Okay, so for the most part, we have gotten everything all done. Um, with the exception of the numbers. The one other thing I want to show you how to do, sometimes the boxes might not come out evenly, okay? You can fix that if you highlight them all. And then when you highlight them all, you're going to have to open up. And you're going to go to Design, Layout, and then it's going to say Distribute Rows. You click on that. That just helps to make sure that each of these boxes that you have highlighted are all the same size, okay? That's how you do that. All right. Now, we're going to make small again, all right? That's just one page, okay? But you have to keep in mind, and I'm going to go over here and show you on here, we need two pages. So we need to do a second page that looks like this, right? It's it, it looks like this, and we need a little note side. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And what you can do, right, is you can take this whole thing and highlight it. 
You don't have to recreate the wheel. You already did it, right? And then you're going to come down here and you're going to go, I copied it. I'm sorry, I highlighted it and then I copied it. You didn't see me right click copy. You saw me control C. That's the shortcut, okay? But then I'm going to come down here and control V. And all that does, the control V is pasted. That's the shortcut for pasting, okay? And then I push this, went down here and push this to the next page. So here we have the second page. But if you look again, it doesn't look like this page, right? Doesn't look like this page. So we want to make sure that it looks like this page. And how do we do that? We're going to go, what you need first is to change the, the headers, right? Because this is the second page and it starts with Friday. If you notice on the other one, and I'll show you in a minute, just give me a second. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then notes. Okay. If you notice, I want to just go back up here real quick, that I started my week off with Monday instead of Sunday. So just keep that in mind. You can do, if you want to start with Sunday, then start with Sunday. But I'm not going to lie, on Sundays, I don't do much of anything. So for me, I'm not going to even jump into this calendar, my planner, until Monday. So that's why I started mine off on Monday. You know, okay. Um, now what we need to do is we need to make the notes column look like this notes column because notes column is to take notes, right? All right. All you do is highlight everything under the word notes, that notes box. You, you right click on your mouse and you click merge. That's the first part. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Now, if you notice, your cursor is really large, right? It's about 48. That's what it says right here. We don't want any of that. OK, that's that's too much. So let's go down to like let's go to 24. That looks good. See how your cursor got smaller? Now we need to get all these lines in here. And there's an easy way to do that, okay? You're gonna get to your keyboard, keyboard and you're gonna hit shift, and then you're gonna hit the plus sign on your keyboard. I'm sorry, the equal sign on your, no, no, I was right. The plus or the equal sign on your keyboard, they're above one another, okay? Uh, no, Miss Tra look, I take it back, I'm sorry. You're going to put, hit the, um, the, Next to the um, equal sign, to, your, to the left of your, your equal sign, there is a two lines, okay? You want the bottom line. So you're going to hit shift, and then you're going to hit that key three times, one, two, three, and then hit enter. Look at that little trick, you guys. It made the line for me. So again, look at your keyboard. Look for the plus sign and the equal sign. They're above each other. Really what you want is the key to the left, all right? That's the key you're actually going to hit. So you hit your shift button, you hold it, and then you hit those lines, one, two, three, and then hit enter, and it'll make it for you. You keep doing that. You get to the end of the document. It only takes a few minutes. Better you try to do it manually, right? So hit the shift button, hold it, one, two, three, hit enter. Hit the shift button, hold it, one, two, three. You're going to release the shift button, hit enter. Hit the shift button, one, two, three, release it, hit enter. And now we've reached our bottom and we have our notes field, okay? All right. So now the only thing left is to add your numbers, okay, your days. So let's, let's change the view. Do you guys know how to change the view? I'll show you. Change the view. We want the view to be, I want it to be side by side. So this is actually how it's going to look in your planner, right? You're going to open it up. You open up your planner and you're going to have on your left-hand side, the first part of the week, on your right-hand side, the second part of your week, okay? And to fill in your calendar, all you could do is just go to go to Google, you guys, and look for a calendar, the 2021 calendar. And when you get there, <clears throat> you'll find out that March starts on a Monday. Now, this is where I always, this is where I want to tell people, y'all, y'all got to be careful because you know why? I had to do this video a million times over because I keep putting the, the dates in the wrong way. So I'm just telling you to be conscious of how you're putting these dates in so that you don't have any problems. OK, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I highlight 
I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to highlight this first set of boxes, right? And why? Because I'm going to go back to the home tab. Remember how it keeps defaulting back to Calibri? I don't want it to do that. I want it to stay in Alex brush and I want it to say a size probably 24. Okay, that's a guess on my part. And I'm going to do this same thing over here. So we don't have to keep redoing it. I'm going to make it Alex brush size 24. And again, as I stated, Monday starts on uh, in March. March starts number on a Monday. So our one goes there. One, and then two, three, four. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Cross over to here. You need a, your five over here because this is the first week of the month, right? So your five starts on a Friday. Six, seven. Now be careful. You're coming back. Check your calendar. Make sure that Monday is the eighth. I just checked. It is. Because I don't want to get this wrong for you guys and have to do this video over again, right? And then pop over here, 12, 13, 14. Over here, 15, 16, 17, 18. Over here, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28. And then again, I'm looking at the calendar and I'm looking at the calendar just to check myself to make sure that if I'm on Monday, that what Monday is on my my uh, my 2021 calendar that I printed is correct. And sure enough, it is. It starts on the 29th and then we have the 30th and the 31st and we have concluded the month of March. So look at that, you guys. How wow. It's all done. This is your view. Now, if you wanted some other things to do, you could go in here and type in holidays in the different boxes and all that stuff. But I find that everybody has different holidays. So it, it becomes a challenge to write everybody else's holidays, you know, um, what they celebrate on a calendar um, that's something i think people can pencil in if they want to do okay but that is it that's how we do it you have your um uh, march view you can just keep going uh, you can copy all this and then paste it to a, a another or, or copy and paste and then just type over it and type the correct information for the correct month so if you like the video, please hit like, um, give me that thumbs up. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe. You guys, I'm new to this. I'm trying. I'm going to be bringing different things to you, not just, you know, DIY crafts, but also I like to cook. So maybe I'm, I'm sure I'll be bringing you some recipes. As a matter of fact, I have one coming up. So with that said, you guys have a great day and thank you for joining me on my channel.